as I told you, when I watched uh, the, the movie, I was a bit confused. And even even at the end, uh, even though you, you have a lot of the pieces, there's still some things you don't understand. So I, I went and I, I watched uh, some videos trying to explain it. And of course, there are explaining around um, you know the meaning of the story and what it means uh, at the end when he says, like, I'm Petsuo and everything. But one of the things I, I found very interesting is the way that um, this movie um, speaks about the people of Japan and the struggle that they have uh, with nuclear weapons and how they were damaged by uh, World War II. And That's true. Specifically, like, the, the, the two bombings of That's Hiroshima true. and Nagasaki. And what they were explaining in that video, I don't cre- take cre- credit for that. It's, it, it was on that video. But what they were explaining is that there is something about the destruction of this new Tokyo. Because Tokyo uh, was not uh, bombed during the war. But the other two cities were. And I think that a lot of people in Japan suffer from that, especially the children. And that's why they have this, um, you know, like Kyle said, this gray green face. And there's a lot of, um, you know, <laughs> they look fucked up because oh my god you think it's a reference to that i think it is i think it i don't think it's uh, it's only by chance that they are looking this way and i i think that if, the destruction look, of... yeah go if ahead if you go look ahead. at if you look at there's so many japanese movies or hand, uh, i was going to say <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that we stay pg what? pg bro. whoops <laughs> sorry i didn't mean and I, 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 think meant, <laughs> I think you meant it. I think you meant I meant anime. But and, it's okay, uh, man. We like that kind of anime it's called, too. It's called it's a okay. slip. <laughs> 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 no, but what I meant was, if if you look at any of Japanese media or whatever, there's so many reference to to the nuclear bombs. It, it's it's crazy. Like look at Godzilla or any any other ones like that. It always revolves around that, and just. And again, it makes you stop and think and go like, you know, us, we don't have that as much, right? We don't have that su- such ingrained into our, into our movies Consciousness, and stuff like yeah. That. Because we didn't have that. We didn't get fucking bombed and, and, and you know. In so a fraction it, of a second, uh, yeah, so. dozens of kilometers of radius completely vanished. Yeah, so it's still in people's mind and, and it, it just, you know, it makes you remember, you know, that it was horrifying. It was a horrific incident, well, not an incident. It was horrific war and, and it has lasting impacts. And to this day, you know, if you, you look at some animes, it's still big. It's still a huge, huge, huge part of anime. And um, I just find it, it, it I, maybe it's a way for coping. I don't know. I can't, I'm not Japanese, so I can't. I can't put myself in their in their shoes or not. But you know, art, art, movies, books. They try to explain stuff. They try to explain how humans react to that. And again, it comes back to my point about you know science fiction and and, and fantasy and and all of that and cyberpunk, where you take these really real situations and you put them in 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 these more exaggerated more you know and and you just see how how humans interact with it and that's why i find the movie is excellent it's on that note it's just that they they took something that was that was real for them put it in another situation added some stuff and it's like an experiment to see how the characters would react 